Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 1st to the 7th of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for our lovely Cancerians please, Angel Spirits Guides? Message for Cancer, thank you. I'm going to choose the card Cancer because... These cards are a little bit chunky. <laughs> okay, what do we have for Cancer? There we go. We have... Oh, lovely. The Magician. We have magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. Oh, that is so lovely, Cancer. Love the Magician energy. Okay, message for Cancer, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Cancerians. First to the seventh. Yeah, we have Journey. Number two, Journey. Okay. Message for Cancer, please, Angel Spirits Guides. What is the message Cancer needs to hear the most? Okay. <laughs> We have look for a sign. I mean, that is beautiful. This comes, you know, when there is a need to be aware this week. Signs, symbols, messages. I mean, it can be things popping up in your social media, people getting in touch, messages that come to you from other people or conversations, a piece of information in a magazine. I mean, it's all this kind of energy there can just be a significant sign that you're being sent. So look for that sign. Very beautiful energy there. So I'm going to pull three cards, Cancer. And then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, I've got this with the Knight of Coins, the Magician, again. Uh, could be to do with some opportunity coming your way here, Cancer. What do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, Message for Cancer. Okay, there you are. But it's in the challenge position, okay? Chariot. Seven of Cups. Temperance. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Cancer. Six of coins. We have the Seven of Swords with the Seven of Cups and Temperance we have with the Eight of Swords. Bottom of the deck we have the Hierophant. Let's clarify this, um, let's clarify this Hierophant. Let's clarify this Hierophant for Cancer please. Let me clarify the Hierophant for Cancer, thank you. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Yeah, it's it's lovely. We have the Knight of Cups. I saw the Knight of Coins before, obviously, and then we've got the Knight of Cups here. So very nice energy indeed. Um, and let's clarify what are you manifesting. So let's clarify this Magician. What is Cancer manifesting, please? Any advice or information there, please? Angel Spirits Guides. What is Cancer manifesting? <gasps> Love it. Success. The Emperor. The Emperor is a card of Aries. So for some of you, if it's to do with love, you could be manifesting a relationship with an Aries. 
or next you know this it feels to do with manifesting something um remember the magician can also be communication energy as well so positive communication that brings transformation there is definitely this energy as well i mean the emperor as an energy is a, is a card of success empire building uh, very good in terms of money career um somebody who is in their power now sometimes this could be somebody in authority uh the top leader the head of a business um can be entrepreneurial can also be big big um you know organizations companies so for some of you you're manifesting something here and that is what the emperor is is telling you is taking control being in your power taking the initiative taking charge of a situation so i'm definitely getting that kind of energy so it feels for some of you very beautiful i love the energy of, of this is embrace the journey um some of you might be going on a new journey some of you might be progressing on a journey it feels very lovely look for a sign you might be guided towards a path here look for a sign very beautiful there's definitely this energy here cancer that you're wanting to take the reins of something um it generally appears this energy in the challenge position when you have the ability or the opportunity to take control of something take the reins of something um, it sometimes to overcome some obstacle or challenge in your life and it can be an energy of challenging the norm you know in the challenge position it can be an energy of oh i'm i'm not happy where i am i want to manifest something new um or for whatever reason something has served its course and i want to manifest something new i want to put my energy into something that is going to bring me greater value now this can also be about taking charge of something when you don't feel you have enough again there's a charity energy as well with the six of, of coins um needing charity not having enough it can be in terms of money finances um job changes it's a breadcrumb energy so for some of you this is where you are have the opportunity to take charge of something and deal with something i mean things like debts and and that kind of energy wanting to take control of something because remember your card is a card of overcoming it's a card of victory it's a card of success but there is definitely these take control energies now is the time to manifest this new path it might well be for some of you here cancer i mean if you don't feel that you have you're being recognized for your value in whatever situation if you don't realize if you don't feel that you you're not being recognized for in terms of monetary reward for the work that you do there's definitely an energy of secretly putting a new plan into action and this is what you're taking charge of because you're challenging the way things are now i'm definitely getting this energy of no i i don't want to put up with this anymore I'm not 100% content or feeling valued or feeling the value in my life and I want to bring expansion, growth, success into my life. That could be in terms of relationships, that could be in terms of money and career. And secretly working towards new hopes, new dreams, certainly in terms of money and career, this can be a card of um, there are doors opening for you there is potential around you there are more options than you realize here cancer uh, very much connected to your hopes dreams and wishes this is about trusting your intuition to lead you to the right path because again you're being guided with that journey card look for a sign you're being guided in the right direction here definitely an energy if it's to do with love romance relationships don't hold back um don't self-sabotage you know don't put things off when the magician appears this is a time to take action this is a time to do something about it 
because you have the opportunity to change base metal into gold. You have the opportunity to change an idea to reality, a negative to a positive. There are hopes, dreams and wishes hanging out there in the ether, just waiting to be anchored and made real. So there is definitely an energy of don't hold back. But again, there's an energy of if you're in a current business and you're feeling the lack, there's definitely this energy of you're secretly putting something into action here. Now, there's an energy here of I don't see it. I don't see the way forward. I don't see the, I don't see the new journey appearing. Um, I feel stuck. You know, kind of a little bit being too much in our own head with the Eight of Swords energy. But here you have the Journey card, which is Temperance. It's a card of Sagittarius, which is the adventurer. So again, tying in with the Journey energy, and there is definitely some kind of powerful journey, doors opening for you that you're being guided towards now that will bring balance back to your life. An element of patience here, but definitely a sign of the journey when the temperance card appears. Remember, Sagittarius is a sign of the archer, fires the arrow into the air, and the arrow flies beyond the immediate visibility. So there can be in this energy, open your mind as well. Open your mind, good, don't focus on the negative. Good things want to come into your life. This is Jupiterian energy, the Eight of Swords, uh, Wheel of Fortune energy, expansion, growth energy. Um, so it can be about open your mind, um, liberate your mind, how you're perceiving something, how you're looking at something. You have more options than you realize. And I'm definitely getting this energy, whether it's to do with love, whether it's to do with business, money, career. There are doors to open here, and I'm definitely getting that energy. And one of these doors, one of these doors, Cancer, is manifesting here in terms of an offer or an opportunity, because we have the cup with the Knight of Cups. And the Knights bring change, the Knights bring direction, the Knights of Cups in particular brings joy and happiness. Now that can be in terms of love, it can also be in terms of opportunity that brings you joy and happiness, something that's very close to your heart. And again, this is a card of have faith. You are absolutely being guided towards this opportunity. The Hierophant is a spiritual energy of um, finding the answers, you know, where you're asking for questions, asking questions, what's it all about, which way do I go, this is absolutely, you are being guided, have faith, you are being guided, and remember we have the four corners, you can see the pillars um, here, generally representing stability, security of the Taurus energy of the Hierophant, um, Taurus is also very good in terms of money, career, stable relationships, grounded energy, uh, growth energy as well, so I'm definitely loving these two cards going together, the, the stability that this brings. Um, really like the energy here, Cancer, very, very much indeed. So I'm going to pull you a final message. Final message for Cancer, please. Angels, spirits, guides, final message for Cancer. We have hidden depths. Something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. I mean, you know, there could be some kind of secret. I will also say for some of you, um, this, can, th th this energy can be secret infatuation or secret hopes, dreams and wishes for somebody, secret feelings. So that might resonate for you as well. This can be that kind of energy. Hidden depths also covertly putting some kind of plan into action to get a new hope, new dream, new wish. Um, definitely to do with some kind of opportunity coming your way. So it, it feels very beautiful. It feels there's such potential and promise around you right now. 
but now is the time to act. And that's what the magician is telling you. You have an opportunity to manifest something. And now is the time to use your God-given talents, experience, knowledge, wisdom, mental acuity to really bring positive transformation and manifestation in your life. Um, very beautiful energy indeed. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month, I was going to say month, but I was going to say week. A wonderful week for you, Cancer, and I will see you next time. Thank you.